Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at my Hunter for Season of the Arrivals. And usually, this is just a fashion showcase, uh, not a build showcase. If you guys are curious about my build, I will definitely make a video on it if you guys want. But it's not much of a build, to be quite honest. But this is pretty much it. I really love how my Hunter looks this season, which also means that most of these pieces are null and void. I will not be able to use these in future seasons unless... I want to but I usually like to stick to that rule which is why I've been trying to stick to something other than you know this one because this is this one I've used like three seasons in a row and as much as I love it it's just I need to like challenge myself with the fashion in the in the game and I think this is awesome as fuck I think I really nailed it it gives me a, a night look and I love it it's one of my favorites right now and i for sure for sure would love the ornament for this which the bright engram or whatever it's called is dropping but i'm pretty sure they shadow nerfed it because i let me show you guys real quick i am i don't even remember it's 150 or something 167 and i've yet to get anything of value at least i have not gotten any of the ornaments and i'm missing three of them are actually okay scratch that i've gotten this one i've gotten this one but i'm missing these two and other than that i mean i have all of these almost except for like that one which i don't really care for and oh wow yeah so like i'm not missing much but i've gotten so many ghosts ships sparrows emotes sometimes it'll just give me a shader and a fucking transmat effect don't even get me started on the fucking rewards in this game. It pisses me the fuck off. But this is how my hunter here look, usually looks if I'm like trying to just to look cool. But honestly, if I'm being really honest with you guys, what I really wear is this. This is what I'm usually wearing for high end activities. So like the solo prophecy that I did, this is the armor I was wearing while I did that. Uh, obviously, some of the mods are interchangeable because I'm usually wearing pure void for grenade slash sniper builds with iron will cloak being the only one that kind of switches off to time to time i really wish the only reason i don't have a void cloak is because powerful friends is not available through void which is a bummer because i would love to use void but that's honestly kind of whatever's i am hoping to get an armor piece that probably like a helmet most likely it no not a helmet actually let me see most likely a chest piece that is actually that doesn't even work either because usually most of the time i'm ha i have six coyote on which is great for double dodge which means i don't have a mod slot it would be great if it did but you know we don't live in that kind of world um and when i say mod slot i mean seasonal mod slot there is no seasonal mod slot would be great but we don't we live in a world where uh bungie doesn't like to have fun so you know that's cool i want so the only reason i don't want it to be either of these is because this one increases my drop chances for ammo this one gives me a reload speed and this one gives me more ammo uh, per pickup so that's kind of why i want i wanted to have one of these be be arc so that way this could be free to use for whatever because as much as i love powerful friends i don't like that i can't use it with like other stuff or because oppressive darkness or heavy finisher is on this one as well so there's a few things that i kind of don't like about my build but overall i love it for what i do i think the void and like the whole thing i just spoke about is just like little nitpicks here and there but overall i love this and yeah i think it's a uh, pretty great so i will most likely be doing a prophecy dungeon guide for all the classes soon because i have been getting people asking me about about it here and there i did the review for it which was dope but it was not a review per se and the other armor sets that i have on is honestly just kind of like stuff here and there stuff that i've been trying to like mix together i know i have a grenade build somewhere around here but overall yeah I, I really fuck with all of my armor sets so let me see i do have the whole dado armor 
for my hunter just because i love it and i always want to have it on i did a review review of this armor not too long ago and i still think it's fire aside from the pieces that don't change like i said in that video but honestly yeah i really fuck with this i cannot wait for transmog once transmog comes into the game guys my fashion videos are just going to be so much better because i can actually pick from a variety of armor that's in the collections and not just you know oh here and there like i got really lucky with the strides of the great hunt like those roles are pretty manageable for me like i'm like i can fuck with most of them so yeah obviously for exotics i have worm husk crown which i've been using in trials celestial nighthawk which is just great all around graviton forfeit for pit of heresy solo runs i do apologize if you hear noise in the background i have my kid in with me right now so if it's being annoying i'm not gonna do this video all over i'm already too far ahead but obviously liar's handshake probably one of the most fun uh, exotics that the hunters have the sealed arm car grasp i have a certain build with this that i like to run with like what is it fourth horseman and a submachine gun that has overflow i really like that build a lot uh kepri sting which i was using in trials which was fucking crazy raid in flux obviously just still great exotic i think it's one of the best ones and Gwyn's invest clear like honestly just for style i never use it mostly because whatever to be quite honest so great looking exotic i just don't care about roving the assassin that ability is just what the fuck ever for boots i have still the bombardiers i love these boots these are fucking awesome and stompies never obviously great as well and that's pretty much it for the armor side weapon side i have a few differences the old fashioned i have one with demolitionist and explosive payload i used to have one with what was it quick draw and an explosive payload but uh i i value demolitionist more in pve a lot more the quick draw would probably be better for pvp but i'm probably gonna switch over i'm probably gonna switch to dire promise other than old fashioned because dire promise is a 150 and i have a few rolls on it that are pretty nutty uh revoker like i said i've been running trials uh specifically to get armor and easy weapons like the summer that was uh last week's three wins mountaintop is great all around a great pve weapon a really annoying pvp weapon ace of spades i'm a hunter main obviously i'm gonna have ace of spades on me i miss kate every day r.i.p uh long shadow great roll rapid hit triple tap this is obviously a pve roll but i do use it on pvp occasionally escape velocity overflow and vorpal weapon i actually have a build i have actually multiple builds with this weapon and i finally got my god roll which was quick draw what was it overflow and quick draw which for pvp that's the role i've been wanting to get vols promise or fault vols false promises which overflow rampage which i can change with this weapon escape velocity i can change them uh because of the overflow perk that's literally the the build that i have overflow specifically and hawthorne's field forged one two tap one two punch and grave robber amazing combination i'm really sad that they're gonna sunset this weapon not next season but the season after that fell winter's lie still think it's bullshit that they gave this weapon literally literally to everyone who participated this should have been a farmable thing but whatever let's just give god rolls uh Eichelus smg i think this is an okay roll dynamic spray reduction with demolitionist i think i got the no i don't have that one i do have another roll that obviously the opening shot and demolitionist one i have that roll as well and i just wish the Eichelus smg was just a little bit better so yeah that's my opinion on it the Eichelos S or the Eichelos Sniper with, with four times the charm and high impact reserves, amazing weapon, one of my favorite weapons. It's gonna out damage the Trophy Hunter most likely because the fourth times the charm and high impact reserves really meld well together. And I say most likely, it actually does. I've already tested this and Eichelos does a little bit more, like I think 10,000 plus more damage overall. Still an amazing, amazing weapon trophy hunter that is it's still an amazing weapon but i got the eichelos just to future proof myself and i can i hope rapid fire frames get a little buff because uh eichelos has been a lot of fun ariana's vow obviously probably one of the best weapons to get for obviously 
high-end activities it's even usable in pvp there's some nutty rolls there's a specific build that makes it a one tap so there's that the seventh set of shotguns one of my favorite rolls lead from gold and vorpa weapon or lead from gold and trench barrel i have that as well and this specifically lead from gold and overflow is really good together it basically just makes you use whatever you can i'm definitely gonna make that build video soon trophy hunter like i said one of my favorite weapons if not my favorite sniper rifle to be quite honest i love how it looks i love how it feels it's one of the only snipers that i feel comfortable using in, in uh country it's the only snipers i feel comfortable using in crucible and honestly i'm really sad that it's gonna get a uh, sunset one day the summoner is actually a new piece of ar or weapon that i got literally like a few days ago and it slaps it's fucking nasty i got moving target and rampage on mine which is really good but i am curious to see the other rolls i will probably never get this weapon again <laughs> but i did get a few rolls and overall i'm really loving the summoner nation of beasts the only reason i have this weapon is because it's guaranteed not to be sunset until like a year so it's really good honestly like a 140 i like 140s i wish they were a little bit powerful more powerful but for pve it's really good and that's where i mainly use it this i don't know why i have that uh oh because i did night the nightfall not too long ago which i am going to be doing a guide for the scene of phage you can get this ornament right fucking now if you're watching this right now you can get this ornament right now it's fire i love how it looks makes it look clean one of my favorite weapons even when it first came out and it was dog shit i still loved it because it was cool but yeah don't sleep on this one at least the skin interference inter uh, interference vi uh i got the auto loading holster in full court with spike grenades and i love it i kind of wish i had a clown cartridge in full court but i'm casually getting i'm casually farming this and i have like what two three more seasons to go until it becomes uh shit or it becomes uh sunset black talon because i was using it a lot during uh, trials there's a lot of sword peaks and you know what fuck it i don't care i'm gonna be an asshole i'm gonna win whatever it takes until you know it gets more fun then i'll probably never use it actually i have a pretty good uh fix for that which i probably will make a video on Tra 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 tractor cannon which is one of my favorite shotguns in the game it's it's a lot of fun i highly recommend you get this gun anarchy can I, shouldn't explain this weapon it's amazing it's really good pyroclastic flow which was a rocket launcher for season of dawn and i still love it even though rocket launchers are garbage i love this rocket launcher line in the sand which is unfortunately a linear fusion rifle and i say unfortunately because linear fusion rifles are dog shit and i wish they were better but it's really good i really like it seventh star of saw is a really good machine gun i got a clown cartridge and vorpal weapon on it and i got the other role as well clown, clown cartridge and firing line i do have that role as well i just i'm a solo player most of the time so vorpal weapon for me is a little bit better and then falling guillotine obviously and i think i got the god roll for it yeah jagged edge with all the good ones great weapon uh i cannot recommend this weapon enough it's one of the best weapons right now in the game for a reason and if you don't have it you need to get it because you it's, it's fire it's really fire and that's pretty much it i wanted to match my hunter's color with the emblem that i got this season and i couldn't find anything that was like this good so i just decided to go with the blue up here and then maybe for my other characters i'll transition to like maybe this color or something else i've been thinking about doing the whole aesthetic thing of the dungeon emblems because all each dungeon does have an emblem to them and honestly yeah let me know what you guys think this is my hunter and this is how i would love my hunter to look uh, if i'm being quite honest but i'm probably gonna have the picture as this but really this is how my hunter has been this whole season so let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys like how my hunter looks let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it and just be safe guys you know what's happening in the world it's fucking crazy right now so just be safe and i'll see you guys later